I know that these are dark days, and I also know how much I don't want to think about it. <laughs> In other words, if you're like me, and maybe you are, maybe you're not, you, you just get to the point where you're like, I, I can't take it anymore. I have to turn off the TV. And I have to not watch the news. I have to not read the news. I have to just focus on my family and pray and try and have some peace of God and peace of mind and and sense of, Lord, I'm here to serve you, but, uh, but it's a dark hour. There have been a lot worse times. I know there's, there's people out there that are saying, man, this is the worst time it's ever been in the world. It's possible, but I don't think so. Look at the first three centuries of the church. The horrifying persecutions that the Christians endured. I mean horrifying, okay? Look at various the times when the Muslim armies made it into the Iberian Peninsula and held Spain for hundreds of years, torturing, brutally murdering Christians. That was a dark time. Look at the, um, the Greeks being held captive and hostage by the Muslims for close to 400 years. Not a church bell was allowed to be rung. And they finally got free. I mean, those were dark times. We, we, this is a dark time for America. It's certainly not the darkest, and God knows what the future holds. It's a dark time for the world, but things can get worse. So our mission is to try and maintain our internal equilibrium and to continue to stand and fight for what is true and right and just and to try and make tactical decisions, ethically motivated all right, by the laws of, of the Lord, make tactical decisions that will result in righteousness prevailing and, you know, that brings me to a, a small discussion about the Republican Party. <clears throat> there were people uh, in California who m had a, a movement, a pretty significant one there, for Christians to vote for the Democratic candidate against DeMaio, the homosexual uh, candidate for the Republicans for the San Diego area. And the GOP homosexual Republican lost, DeMaio lost. And what the Christians there were saying was, look, we hate this Democrat, or we hate his policies, and he's a wicked man. But DeMaio represents the demise of the Republican Party, which has been the home of Christian activists, p political activists. Yeah, there's been quarrels, a lot of them. But if we lose the Republican Party, then we have no home, okay? So they literally cast votes for someone who they despised because they did not want the Republican Party to fall further and further into this hellish trap of endorsing baby killers and endorsing militant homosexuals who want same-gender marriage. <clears throat> so, as I've been listening to talk radio shows uh, over the past few days since the election in which the Republicans just wiped out Democrats at the local, state, and federal level, there is this deep concern that the Republicans are going to mess it up. That we don't have the leadership, we don't have the agenda, we don't have the vision in our leaders. And let me just say this really clearly. I concur. I concur. The question is whether or not people like Mitt Romney and Mitch McConnell and John Boehner are going to set the agenda. Or whether it's going to be people like, well, let's talk about that when we come back from this break. Who the fight is with. Don't go away. I have been a leader in the pro-life movement for 30 years, and sadly we have not prevailed in our goal to make it a criminal act to kill an unborn baby. There's reasons why we have failed. I wrote this book, a humble plea, to Catholic bishops, to evangelical clergy, and to lay people explaining where we went wrong and what we have to do to prevail. We've made this available as a PDF online for free. I encourage you to go and download your own copy. We have put together what we call an online university for you. Now that's a highfalutin way of saying that we have a pretty significant library of material, books, tapes, videos, that are there for you for free. Why are we doing this? 
because America is desperate for new leaders and because this material could help you to become the leader that you and God want you to be. Check it out and enjoy it.